Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. And greetings to those who sit here for the first time. For you have a puzzle before you. The man in the chair has been talking to you for over an hour. He sits in the chair and it's his voice yet again. And all that you have learned through your entire life about the reality of what is what and how it works say that the same guy sat in the chair and is talking again. And as many times as we have talked about it, it is the same for all. There is a bridge of belief that you cross when you sit in a spiritual place and you decide to worship. We're in a spiritual center at the moment. I know where I am. I know who is here. I know who's listening. Because I am in a, a dimensional place that has a reality that promotes that. It is far, far different than yours at the moment. And so what we have done in the past is ask you to get out of this box. A box that you say you're in because you need to be there. You need to be there because of mental survival. You cannot let yourself go into the law law land of belief. And some of you say that's because there's just too many things there. But let me ask you, does this stop you? Does this stop you from meditating for, or for speaking to, to God in any way? Whatever God is to you, when you speak to God, do you have to then draw the logical line? Sit and pant for a while and change energies? And the answer is no. Because it is inside and it's intuitive right there with his hand out. Asking you to be part of it all. I want you to cross this barrier and get used to it. Because eventually, dear human being, eventually human nature will require it. You'll start living differently. What you will call in another dimension which is incorrect, it is simply living in more dimensions than you have. We have another name for it, and that's growing up. Human consciousness is exactly correlated with dimensional perception. As a child, you were only aware of the survival of you as a child. And when you met other children, whether it was on the playground or in school or on the street, you acted like a child and you protected yourself and you were self-centered and you knew about the bullies and you knew of all of these things. This was survival at the most basic level. And as you grew up, you grew out of it. And the other children did too. As young adults, and we've said it so many times before, you acted differently, even toward the same individuals. You're grown up now, you might say. Even as a young teenager, and you were starting to figure out that throwing rocks and calling names, it doesn't get you what it gets you in order to listen peer pressure, all of these things, you grow through it and out of it until you're a young adult. Now you look at each other completely different. You enjoy each other's company. You solicit each other's company. You go places together. You enjoy things together. There's a camaraderie. This is another dimension. A belief as a child to an adult. This is what's going on with humanity. It's too simple, I know. How many times do we have to tell you that what you are seeing on the news and what is going on on this planet I gave you in 2011? I reminded you in 2012. And in 2013, I said, here it comes. And what you have is there are some that are still on the playground. And they're never going to mature. And they're always going to call names and throw rocks because that got them what they wanted 
all of existence of history before 2012. And that's changing. It'll change slowly as civilization grows up. Just like it did when you were a child. And you know what I'm saying. Every year you came back to school wondering if the bully was going to change. And pretty soon you realized, no. And you went your way and the bully went his. 25 years later you find out what they're doing, he's still a bully. His choice to go a direction that got him what he needed and he's still doing it. If you catch the metaphor, there's nothing wrong with what's going on in this planet at the moment because light is starting to bring out the darkness, if you understand what I mean. And all through this, the invitation for humanity is to grow up. Now, the ones to grow up first are old souls because you have had the most experience on the planet. I ask you yet again, What are you doing here? It's a beautiful Sunday, an afternoon in a place where the weather is good. You could be doing so many other things, and instead you've decided to sit in a dark room and listen to a talking head in a chair. <laughs> what are you doing? And I'll tell you what you're doing. There is something inside you that is knocking at the door and is saying this is why you're alive the timing of your life dear one is not an accident old soul the gender that you are is not an accident the changes that are happening in your life even as I'm in this chair are not an accident all of history resounded with your lives and here you are today in a world that is calm enough that you're out of survival and can start making the differences you have the tools and that is the experience you can generate compassion easily because you know what it is you can look at those who don't understand and just have compassion and they will see in you a maturity that is attractive they're going to want to be with you because you have answers to life. God inside. Benevolence and beauty. This planet is not an accident. Tonight I want to give you some things to think about regarding the planet Earth. I'm going to call it the benevolence of the universe on you. I also may name it because of where I am, the big gamble. <laughs> Dear ones, it's an appropriate energy that you are here. Now I have been speaking for a few minutes. Loving the fact that I can be with you. The Merkaba of each of you is an energy that is multidimensional that you cannot see, but you know it is there. It is your antenna of sensitivity. It is the culmination of a multidimensional field around your DNA, which contains that which is your Akashic record and so much more, the very core of God within. I sense it and I feel it and I see the love and the compassion, the dedication. I see the frustration. I see who you are. Listen, dear one, you want the healing you came for. It's why you're sitting in the chair. I know who you are. Do you think maybe if you came and sat here, you, you would have a, a better chance of being healed? Is that what you thought because you came in the door? Well, let me tell you something. You were right. <laughs> you got it right. But by sitting here and listening to the energy, you're not going to change. You're going to have to go through this door of belief and know that all that you want is already there inside waiting to be done. If you will affirm it, know it's you. You deserve it. 
But I know you. You keep waiting for it to happen from the outside in. It's not going to work that way. It's the inside out. How much light do you carry? And you will say to me, not much. And I'll say, that is the problem. You don't know what I see. Take off the restrictors. Get out of the box and shine and walk out of this place healed, dear one. What'd you come for? I want to give you information right now and then we're going to close. The information is that every single one of you, even the drag along, is an old soul. You wouldn't come otherwise. There are some now even wondering whether this is real or the man in the chair. And I will say, there is going to be no proof except you becoming a little multidimensional. And if you do, you will see perhaps the truth. You will feel it within your innate and you will know this is the real deal. And in the real deal, you will find only love, compassion, appreciation. Because that's who God is. Inside you. Never judgment. Never frustration or drama or anger. Always a loving energy looking at you. Saying, good job. Let's do something else now. Even bigger. And so it is.